Hello, I'm Dr. Selma Bartholomew, and I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Today is Friday, February 14th, 2020, and it's the first Valentine's Day for the decade. And so well, how exciting is that? Happy Valentine's Day. And it's certainly the first Valentine's Day in, uh, for this year and the only one for 2020. And so happy Valentine's Day to you. I'm also excited because uh, this is my very first uh, video journal for the Dr. Selma B. show. And so I'm so excited to do this video journal on different topics that uh, we will cover or different topics um, of interest uh, on, the, on the show. And I wanted to uh, have opportunities to just reflect and to just share some of my thinking uh, uh, with you. So I hope you um, enjoyed it. And um, I wanted to say just thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing your time with me. So I've always journaled, right? And I've always uh, journaled in pen and in paper. So once again, this is my first uh, video journal. So happy Valentine's Day. So the topic for my video journal today for Valentine's Day is as follows. God went out of his way today on Valentine's Day to send me a surprise and he put the biggest red bow on it ever. That's right, he went out of his way to surprise me and he put a big red bow on it. So um, as I reflect and I've always journaled and I'm going to say to you, if you're considering journaling, it's really important to think about what hat you're going to reflect with because I wear many hats. I wear the hat of an entrepreneur, the hat of a leader, a mom, a daughter, a friend, right? And so, um, and I'm confident that so do you as well. So today's hat that I'm using to reflect is the hat of an entrepreneur. And I want to be able to just reflect openly with you. And I want to share this story with you about how God went out of his way today. That's right, today for Valentine's Day to surprise me, Dr. B, uh, for Valentine's Day. So uh, where do I start? So first, uh, the entrepreneurship uh, piece, the part about the entrepreneur is um, I started my company in 2008 in the middle of a recession and uh, we're moving into this new decade, right? It's the start of 2020. And um, my company is also moving into this second decade. And so as an entrepreneur, it can be very cold out here. And I say that if you've never been an entrepreneur, then you may not truly and fully understand what that means. And um, if you are, are thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, I want to offer you some words of encouragement with this journal entry. If you were and you stepped away from it, right, then this is also for you and I'm hoping you can connect. And if you're considering stepping back into it, then this reflection is also for you. You should also be able to connect with this story, even if you're not an entrepreneur. But like I said, I'm just reflecting on it uh, with that hat and with that lens. I'm also aware of the lens as an entrepreneur that I am a black woman and I am a business owner. And um, this is also for you um, for uh, black owned businesses because black businesses at this state, at the start of this new decade, we are dying on the vines. And um, I say that very sincerely and very transparently that the constant decline of black businesses makes it quite clear that we're not surviving and um, not getting uh, the contracts and not getting the opportunities. And so it's more than cold for you if you're a black owned business it's actually really frigid, okay? So I want to offer you uh, some words of encouragement and to say to you um, and to just share to you with you today how God went out of his way to surprise me, uh, Dr. B, on uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, so where do I start? So first, uh, let, me get my, let me get my glasses. And um, I want to uh, share with you a prayer that a, a dear friend of mine gave me. It was a book that she gave me several years ago. Her name is Dr. Wilson. And she gave me this book uh, called uh, The Prayer of Jabez. Now, I hope you can see the book. And um, you don't have to have this book in order to find the prayer. You can find it in the Bible. And um, it's a good read. And so I just want to share with you uh, the prayer. And as I share this story with you about how God went out of his way to surprise me. So here, here goes uh, the prayer. It says, Oh, 
that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil. It's such a simple and eloquent and just powerful words, right? I'm going to put the book down and I want to start by saying, hmm, most people um, and entrepreneurs might say, well, yes, God, bless me with a new house. Uh, bless me uh, with a new car. Yes, give me money so I can enlarge my territory. I can buy some more uh, property, right? And um, that's all uh, well and good. I want you to have all those blessings, and God wants you to have them as well. But from the perspective of, of an entrepreneur, when I said to you that it's cold out here and I'm moving, we're moving into our second decade, this work is really hard. And you have to hold on to your mission. You have to hold on to your vision. You have to hold to God's hand. And it's not always easy. Um, and I want you to, you know, you have to have sometimes that, that what they say, the faith of, of a mustard seed. So don't just think when you think enlarge my territory. I don't want you to think just in terms of the materialistic things. Um, and also from the perspective of an entrepreneur, and I'm very transparent about it, that uh, you don't go into this work to be envious of somebody with money. That's not what this uh, piece is about. That's not what I'm about. Now, if that's where you want to operate from, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. But that's not how Dr. B operates, and that's not what this work is about for me. So today on Valentine's Day, God went out of his way to surprise me. And so um, started off with the prayer of Jabez. So I want to say to you, uh, let me give you a context um, about my background. So I, was, um, I grew up in Harlem, and I went to elementary school on 141st Street in Harlem off of Edgecombe. And then I went to middle school on 134th Street off of Broadway, 133rd, 134th Street off Broadway. And uh, there's a huge building there. Roberto Clemente School was located there. And the building is still there. You see this massive building when you drive on the West Side Highway, and most people would not know that there's a school underneath. And then I went to uh, high school in Brooklyn in Clara Barton. So I want to share with you uh, this uh, piece. Let me make sure it's, it's up, right side up. I'm hoping that you can see it. And it's an award, yes. And it's not the traditional award, it's actually on wood. And um, it's a plaque and you can see, hopefully my name is etched in there and it's written in there. And it says class 8325B. Uh, so that was my class when I was in middle school. Outstanding Math Achievement Award. And my name is written in and I remember getting this award uh, because it was really different, right, to think that you can actually write your name on something. And my teacher, Ms. Stevens, at the time gave me this pen. And I just remember just being so proud that I can, you know, my name and you could see um, how clearly it is. And then she, right, and that I got, you know, here's this award. So I've always kept this and it's uh, near and dear uh, to my heart. And I'm sure when you, you have, as you get your acc accolades, right, I'm hoping that they encourage you and inspire you. And if you've never gotten one, let me know. I will send you something because you deserve it, right? You deserve all of the praise and you are worthy. And so I've always held on to this because I am a mathematician and I am a math educator. And the work that we do in mathematics is so transformative. This mission that we're on to let everybody know that algebra is a gatekeeper, but in reality, uh, that's not a big enough inspiring vision for us, that mathematics is a language and our children need it to be. So I've always held this and it's always been just so, just near, like I said, near and dear to my heart. So today, um, God went out of his way to surprise me. I'm actually dressed and I'm getting ready to go out the door Friday for Valentine's Day. So where are you going, Dr. B? I'm on my way to my old middle school. I get to go and spend uh, Valentine's Day in the same building, in the same classrooms that I was in when I was in sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Wow. Wow. That says to me that God literally packaged my supplies in 1982 and it got delivered today. It didn't get lost in the mail. It didn't get lost in the shuffle, right? 
And he packaged it in 1982 for me. And here it is today being delivered to me that I am so honored and so humbled to say that I get the opportunity to go and sit with middle schoolers in the same space that I sat in as a young girl doing mathematics. And today I get the opportunity to go and work with our teachers and work with our students and to really send that message to them. It's not about math only, to send that message of who I am is not who I shall be. And this work in mathematics is so transformative and here's God sending me this blessing today on Valentine's Day. So I'm so excited. I want, would be remiss if I didn't get a chance to say first thank you uh, to Dr. Sandy Johnson. She's in the Harlem Renaissance Education Pipeline and uh, the organization is really committed to parent and community involvement in Harlem and also transforming math outcomes in Harlem. And they understand, right, uh, this sense of urgency uh, for the students and for the uh, children and families in Harlem. So thank you to Dr. Uh, Johnson. I also want to say thank you to Principal Stovall, who is this very dynamic and has this really awesome presence uh, with his students and takes so much time. Uh, to get to know them in new design and to create a safe space uh, for them. And um, just a really dynamic African-American male principal, just very anchored uh, to, that, uh, to that space and to, uh, to the work. And a very special thank you also to, um, to our teachers. And I say that because in this work, when I'm going against the grain, and everybody is telling you about test scores. And, um, and as I said to you, this work for us as we move forward, we're done. We know how to close the gap. And the reason why is because we want to show them how to count a different way. And so our teachers, thank you for taking the risk with us because we're asking you to do something different on Legacy Lab Day. We're asking you to put your kids in group and let them talk and let them write compliment cards and let them allow to have movement and to get up and to change their seats. And it is just an awesome sauce model and I know that it's really hard as teachers to take those risks and so I want to offer to you a very special thank you and to say to you I honor you and I appreciate you creating that space for us to be together to really help to support our children because for us this work is the following and I'm gonna I know I have to go is the following everybody knows how to count like this right but God counts a whole other way Anybody can count the apples on a tree and anybody can count the peaches on a tree, but God doesn't count that way. He looks at a seed and he says, this is gonna produce umpteen fruit trees and this is gonna produce a valley. And so uh, that prayer, as I reflect through the lens of an entrepreneur, what a gift and I'm so humbled and I'm so thankful that in 1982, <laughs> in the 1980s, I etched my name. <laughs> I got to etch my name in that space. And today I'm honored to go and um, have a fun Legacy Lab Friday uh, with our students. And so God gave me such a blessing today. I could not even tell that story and couldn't write that in when I started the business in 2008. I wouldn't have imagined this day today. And so uh, know that when God is blessing you and he has something for you, that it is for you. And um, I wanna wish you once again, a happy Valentine's Day. Uh, thank you for letting me share my very first uh, video journal reflection with you. And I wanna wish you again a happy Valentine's Day. And I want you to uh, remember that God has uh, uh, surprises for you and uh, so many more surprises for you. And there are days that he's gonna go out of his way to surprise you, just as how he went out of his way to surprise me, Dr. B, today as an entrepreneur. Thank you and I give thanks for you. Have a great day.